As for Game 7, Sunday night in Boston, eerie the parallels in play. LeBron James in a Cleveland uniform in a closeout game. If they lose, could be the last time in a Cleveland jersey. This time it would be the last, last time you'd have to think. And if it is, he's done what he was supposed to do when he went back. I mean, they had a parade. They won the title. Whatever bad feelings existed after taking his talents to South Beach, and there were plenty, this run had to at least have helped, if not erase those. But if he leaves again, Cavaliers are going to have a mess to clean up with salary cap situations. If so, it's something that they've got familiarity with as an organization. They've had to rebuild it once before after LeBron left. Of course, the prize they got from that, Kyrie Irving, was traded to the team they play Sunday night in Boston. The Celtic team that knocked out Cleveland back in 2010 was on the back end of their run together, some Hall of Fame greats. This Celtic team is young. They are ahead of schedule. The two players presumed to be the superstars that carry the load aren't even playing because of injury. Because of the emergence of Rozier and Tatum and Brown, I've seen suggestions that Gordon Hayward and Kyrie Irving ought to, or at least maybe could be traded this offseason. Settle down. Let's see what Boston is going to be in the years to come when everybody's healthy. It's a franchise that is steeped in tradition that, win or lose, is clearly on the verge of another excellent run. Meanwhile, Cleveland heads back to a building where they've not won this postseason with a very clear vision of just how muddled the future is. What they've got, for sure, is a game Sunday night. Beyond that, who knows? And that would seem to me to be a whole lot of baggage to carry with you into the most important game of the year. The good news, if you're a Cavaliers fan, is you got the best player on the floor because he's the best player on earth, and he has been brilliant repeatedly in these situations, and that would be, I would have to think, enough to give you hope if you're a Cleveland fan. But if you're a Celtic fan, I believe you'd have to have hope because it hadn't been enough to get a win there in a game yet. Yeah.